Hello friends, my name is Harish and I am starting this tutorial series about Spring Boot and uh, we will be going through all the details of Spring Boot uh, essential application like what you need and how it works. Uh, so today in this video we will just see uh, how easy it is to get started with Spring Boot. Uh, so there are uh, various ways you can get started with Spring Boot. Uh, like uh, either you can uh, <clears throat> go to your ID like Eclipse or IntelliJ and use their plugin uh, to initialize an application Spring Boot application or you can uh, use a Spring Boot starter uh, POM file uh, as your base and then manually install it using uh, this uh, Maven or Gradle uh, dependencies uh, but I will be using uh, this Spring Initializer. It's a web app uh, where you can go and you can set up your uh, project and its dependencies. So let's uh, get started with this. So I'm going to name it com.harish.springboot.demo and my artifact will be initial demo app and uh, here you can choose what kind of dependencies you want so for today's uh, uh, initial demo I will be just adding web and then actuator and also I will be adding uh, adding a template uh, engine like time leaf so with these three we we are all set to get started and uh, we need only this much setup and uh, then you can click on generate project so it will download a zip file you can save it i'm going to save it in uh, uh, okay so i have on desktop i created one spring boot folder i'm going to save it there so this download is done now let's go and do that so now I am on my terminal and I am right now on my Spring Boot uh, folder and I am going to unzip this initial uh, demo app zip. So as soon as it is uh, unzipped, so let's see what is there. So there is a folder called initial demo app. I can go into that initial demo app folder and you can see it. okay sorry I should I didn't give so initial demo app and you can see there is uh, Maven and POM and all those source files available for today's demo uh, I will be just creating a static uh, index.html uh, and then we will be yeah, starting our uh, Spring Boot app and then seeing that uh, index file so let's create that file into source main resources and then static and then let's name it index.html uh, let me make it a little bigger so that it's easy to see so and uh, this static is there because we implemented uh, we uh, added the dependency of time leaf uh, so it is uh, giving us the templating of files and all the static files will be served from our server from this folder static folder so now let's uh, start uh, adding some HTML tag uh, so I have pressed uh, I on my keyboard so it's uh, insert and let's add HTML and then uh, very basic it's just have body and then one h1 tag h1 tag and let's say hello world and then let's cross it and let's close body and now let's close HTML and now I'm pressing escape and then colon WQ to save and quit so I have that uh, index.html created now I'm going to do maven clean build 
I'll do maven let me just clear it once so I will do maven and clean package so what it will do it will uh, build the package and uh, all uh, spring boot dependencies will be added so it's going to start and uh, maven is going to download uh, everything all the dependencies for my spring boot applications so i will come back and uh, let's see when all the dependencies are done so now uh, maven has finished uh, building my application so it, the build is success it took some time because uh, sake of this tutorial i had cleaned my uh, laptop and so it took some time to download everything so once the build is done um, what maven did it uh, packaged everything and ran some tests which come by default and also it uh, started that index.html uh, which we gave uh, on the static package uh, to serve it as our uh, base location file so now let's go ahead and uh, start this app uh, so before that let's see uh, there is a new folder now uh, that is target and inside target there is let's see what is inside target and uh, there will be a jar file created so there is a jar file created uh, this one initial demo app uh, jar snapshot.jar we can execute this and uh, we can run it using java so let's do java uh, okay let's clean it first so let's do java hyphen jar and then uh, uh, initial demo app 0.0.1 snapshot.jar and as soon as I run it spring is going to kick in and it's going to start my app so spring boot started and it started the process and then it's going to start up uh, tomcat server and uh, it will uh, as soon as it will give that it started so initialization completed in uh, this much milliseconds and uh, once it starts up it will give us a message so here is the our uh, index.html so application started in 25.452 seconds that's not bad at all uh, so now let's go to chrome now i am in chrome so let's access our application at http colon localhost colon 8080 so as soon as i do this so here is my response hello world the page index.html which i created and if i go back and if i kill this uh, uh, app so now i am going to kill this app and see uh, if my project stops so i put control c i press control c and my app is stopped it's not running anymore so if i go back to my chrome browser and i do so there is no uh, app running so you saw it's so easy to get started with spring boot so this is uh, just a basic intro of uh, creating an app we didn't see exactly how it is working and what all uh, the going on behind the scenes so in future tutorial videos i will be covering everything and uh, i hope uh, you will uh, subscribe uh, and uh, uh, so that you can get uh, further uh, tutorial videos and i'll see you in my next uh, video where we will